Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by our friends at Safety Systems. You see the website right there. And when you're doing the website, remember to leave off the Y. It's safe, T, the letter, and then systems. All right, when you hear that name, you probably think security systems, and they do those better than anyone. But they're also the A1 best in town if you want a home theater system. Drop-down theater screens, HD projectors, surround sound. Folks, call VFL JJ Serlis, who will be on our show next week, by the way. Uh, it'll be our all VFL show next week, and he's one of the VFLs. Give him a call. He'll tell you all about their home theater services. They are fantastic. All right. Uh, quick slant segment. Everybody gets about a minute to answer this, if that. Very speedy, okay? <laughs> uh, let's put the first one up. Chuck gets a graphic to go with his. The ESPN computer was a whirring this week, whirring, um, and it says there's a 50% chance of Tennessee winning the East, 30% chance for Georgia to win the East, 10% chance for Florida to win the East. Do those odds look right to our resident bookmaker, Chuck <laughs> Cavallaris? Oh, you know, when I crunched the numbers, I actually had Tennessee a little bit higher, more like 65%. I think Georgia is a little bit too high there. Oh, wow. But I think it is a three-team race. Well, so you'd only give Georgia a 25% chance. Yes, I'd drop Georgia just a little. I really mm -hmm. would. I mean, what do you have with Kirby Smart as the head coach? There it is. The Chuck Cooter has That's right. way there, in. There's a 3% chance somebody else will win it. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> Kentucky smiling. <laughs> Finally a chance to go to Atlanta. All right. Uh, Josh Ward, JUCO transfer Alexis Johnson. Suspended in February when he was arrested on charges of aggravated assault and false imprisonment. He was cleared this week by the UT student judicial panel. They threw it out. Uh, if he keeps his nose clean through October, his record will be totally expunged. One of those charges has already been dropped. The other one goes away if he stays clean through October, doesn't do anything. Should UT allow him back on the team right now or wait till October when he's completely cleared? I think Tennessee could add him back to the team now, and maybe you add him back with still some stipulations or a punishment that still stands even with him being a part of the team. Uh, I'd say there's a good chance he's not playing right away. He's never practiced with Tennessee. This right. happened back early in the spring semester. So uh, the fact that the accuser has kind of been on Alexis Johnson's side, that, now behind the scenes, is that still really the case? But uh, the fact that that is, uh, that is her stance, that would help Butch Jones if he wants to add Alexis Johnson to the team. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't wait until October and just don't. That's don't the run safe the risk. move. It, yeah, it's the safe move. If you bring him back and somebody brings another charge, true or not, people are going to say, "There mm -hmm. you go again. You brought a guy back." So I. And if you've decided that he probably won't play, that you would redshirt him. What's the difference? Sure. Yeah. If you're not going to play him at that point, then go well, ahead. Well, the only difference him. may be he may get fed up with the situation and transfer. Well, if he can't sit for another month, then. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm saying the way the whole thing is kind of yeah. handled. All right. Next question from Mike Strange, Florida defensive back Jalen Tabor. Gigging Tennessee again this week. He went on the <laughs> Paul Feinbaum show. He referred to Florida's 11 straight wins against Tennessee and said the greatest indication of the future is the past. You've covered Tennessee since the 80s, Mike. Can you ever remember a player, an opposing player, not coach, not Spurrier, can you remember an opposing player talking this much trash before a game with Tennessee? No, I can't. Uh, there, there may have been uh, Antonio Langham said they own Tennessee at some mm -hmm. point, but it wasn't a constant stream like this guy is. I, I went back and looked at the stats from last year and was surprised from the Florida game. I couldn't find any evidence that he recorded a tackle in that game. I, I was <laughs> surprised by that. But as far as Tennessee's response to that, until you beat Florida, just stay shut up and Which yeah, they're doing. let him roll. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bob, last one, about a minute here, quick. Um, Brent Musburger, who won the Lindsey Nelson Award this spring, will be back in town next, or two Thursdays from now, or three Thursdays from now, whatever it is, for the Appy State game. He'll be calling for the SEC Network. A lot of people don't like Brent Musburger. Of course, we live in a world with Twitter. Nobody likes anybody anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, but Brent Musburger, he's, he's a divisive character for some reason. Uh, <laughs> do you think he makes a small game like Appy State seem like a bigger game? Or does he make every game excruciating? Where are you on the no, Brent Musburger? No, I'm a Brent Musburger fan. And I, it, part of it is I was around in the 70s when yep. he first came around with NFL Today. So I've, I've not gone through a, a year of my life or a week of my life in the fall without hearing Brent Musburger. Um, I think Brent Musburger makes a small game sound big. And, and the thing about people and announcers is you get on Twitter, you get on uh, Facebook, you get on anything where people can talk about them. Everybody is hated. They're terrible. They're horrible. Yeah. Not a single announcer in America is worth a dang. John Ward. Well, Sorry. outside of him. <laughs> right. uh, I do think that uh, 
we are in a different age. You think about, wow, Lindsey Nelson was great, wow, Kirk Gowdy was great. If you'd had Twitter then, people would have been ripping those guys left and right. It's just a different age. All right, uh, when we come back, we got one more question from a viewer. We're gonna take a Twitter question from a viewer. Also, big announcement about our show, come on back.